Well, hello there, guys and gals. Welcome to the Bid for Assets walkthrough presented by Tax Lean Certificate School. I'm glad you could join me in this quick little uh, tutorial slash training video. My name is Corey. You may not have met me. I uh, work for Dustin Hahn at uh, Tax Lean Certificate School. I do a lot of the marketing stuff. I do filming. I'm an assistant, motivator, social media, a bunch of other stuff. I'm the basically the the guinea pig, the dog of the uh, of, of of the group here. So that's me in Croatia. I look really happy, and we're gonna move on. So today I wanted to take you through a quick tour of Bid for Assets. We're actually gonna get into the nitty gritty of the site itself, but I just wanted to go through a few quick points before I got there. So why Bid for Assets? Why online tax liens? Why do we do this? Well, for starters, it's a different way of investing. Some people like to go to auctions, some people don't like to go to auctions. I would strongly recommend that you do go to an auction, but if for some reason you don't and you just want to get a feel for what's out there, uh, Bid for Assets is an online website that you can go to and you can buy properties online. I should mention right now that I have no affiliation to Bid for Assets at all. This is just something I felt like I wanted to give out to our, to our lists and uh, make a YouTube video of it, so here we are. Um, so with online tax liens, you don't even necessarily have to leave your home if you know what you're doing. And I say if you know what you're doing because there is a lot of due diligence involved in online tax liens and it's, yeah, let me be honest, it's not the most uncomplicated system there is. They don't make it extremely easy for you to figure it out and to do it. So it does take some familiarization, if that's a word, to the system. And it takes a little bit of, of research just to kind of even get a feel for how the platform works, which I'm going to hopefully help you do today in this video. Um, another reason why you can do online tax liens is you're able to set your max bid and you can forget about it. Don't recommend that, but in, uh, I don't know if you've ever used eBay or not, but eBay is kind of the same way. You put in the maximum price you're willing to pay and it will automatically go up to that point and if it goes over then it won't go up anymore so you're able to determine your max bid in a way that's peaceful and relaxing and uh, you don't always feel like you have to go above that if you've ever been to a, a real auction sometimes it gets kind of crazy heat of the moment people are throwing out numbers 10,000 40,000 800,000 and before you know it you're freaking out because you just bid $800,000 on a piece of concrete which I also wouldn't recommend you do but that's another positive of online tax liens. You can save a lot of time and money and travel and stuff. If you get this down, you can do it from the comfort of your own home and your PJs. You don't ever have to put on real pants. Uh, right now I'm wearing sweatpants. Uh, actually, that's not even true. I'm wearing long johns and shorts right now, but that's information you don't need to know. And uh, why bid for assets? Well, it's one of the couple of sites that you can use to sell online tax liens. Now I'm gonna make a couple more of these tutorials for you. Uh, there's another one called Real Auction. And there's another one that's escaping my mind that I need to Google. Um, I, have it, I have it written down somewhere, but there's another one that they've switched over. It used to be called, it used to start with an S, but they switched uh, companies. So these are all basically sites that uh, amalgamate or bring together all the different online county auctions and allow and put it in a nice big, um, they, they put it in a nice package for you to be able to see them and access them quickly. So... Uh, let's hop on over to bidforassets.com. You like this? I made this. I'm saying this to you right now. It's pretty good. Let's hop on over there, and I'm going to end this presentation and go over. Boom. Okay. So here we are on bidforassets.com, and uh, there's a lot of stuff on this site. There's many places to click and stuff that you could know, but I'm just going to walk you through the basics. Now, uh, this isn't going to be comprehensive by any stretch of the imagination, but it will hopefully give you uh, an intro to what's going on here and you'll be able to take this and run with it if it's something that interests you. So on the main page we have here, this is like a map and you can click on a state to begin your search. So you'll, you'll notice when I hover over here, uh, some of them have nothing next to them and then you'll see some of these have 16 properties, for instance, Missouri. Uh, so if you hover over them, you'll see what properties they have for sale in each of those states and you'll be able to then further dive into it. So and there's some small ones over here. Uh, what I've done is I've actually um, pre-planned all this out just so I'm not uh, wasting a bunch of time. So I'm gonna go in California here. And what happens when you click on that, I should have it here, is you'll, you, you, you'll pull up this right here. And now this is where you'll see all the different uh, counties and the different sales 
in California. So depending on what your maximum budget is you're willing to spend and where you want to spend it, this is where you'll come to kind of see what's going on. So these ones here are like our individual, uh, these are individual sales. And then these ones here, like this is, for instance, the sale for Imperial County. And it has a bunch of auctions in them. So you'll click through here and it will load up this page. Then you'll see there's a lot of stuff going on here. So it's really good to take some time to get to know what's going on just so you can, you're just not completely overwhelmed by it. You'll be able to see here the auction dates. So like when it starts, so this one starts February 6th at 11 a.m. Eastern time and it ends February 9th. So that's when you'll actually be able to bid on the property. Um, there's all this contact information if you want to contact them, the, the county themselves, and, and this tells you the deposit requirements and disclaimers, which I would recommend you read. And this is where we start to see the properties. So this is APN's number 001-041. So these are basically the, the parcels of land or the properties that are up for auction. So you can click it and it will show you all the different ones that are on, on sale there. And then you pick one and you go and you see what it is. So there is an, uh, an aspect of this takes time. So if you have, for instance, a superstar or a virtual assistant or an assistant to go through and scan which ones are in your bid range. For instance, this one has a minimum bid of $24.47. So that's a fairly decent starting bid. The deposit requirements is $25.35. I believe that goes towards the payment of the lien when you win. So um, you, will, you will get that applied to the uh, purchase price, but again, double check with that. That will be something that you should know and just double check on. So you'll see here, um, it says right here, I must register to bid. So I'm actually not registered right now, but this is where you will register. Uh, this is the location, the address, and this gives you way more information. So you can put in your email here to be notified when bidding opens deposits. Uh, now here's where I want to focus the bulk of my attention is the item specifics. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over to the uh, parcel of land that I've already done a bunch of research on. So I'm going to just give me a sec. Okay. So here we are. This is one of the ones I've pulled up just randomly. It's in Nevada County, California. Um, for the longest time, I thought this was in Nevada, the state, but I read that wrong. And so that's why it's very important that you make sure you know what you're bidding on and where it is because things can get confusing very quickly. So we've got this property in Nevada County, California. Uh, the APN is here. This is basically the block of land that the county, whenever back in the day, whenever they divided up the parcels of land into chunks, that's what they named it. And so that's what it's named as in the actual um, county files. So if you were to go into the courthouse and be like, hey, can you show me APN 22-241-38-000, they would be able to pull out a big old map and it would be, they'd be able to show you what that was. So you'll see here that um, it closes in two days, 19 hours. Um, there's zero bids right now. There's no reserve, which means there's no minimum. So the minimum bid is basically, you could get it for the minimum bid if nobody else bid on it. Status is in progress. The auction started the 22nd of January, which is uh, today at 11 a.m. and it closes in a few days. Uh, there's no address here, which is, we're going to get into that before. If there's an address, it's much easier because you can Google Maps it, uh, you can Google Earth it. And then if you're really serious about it and it's an expensive property, you can go and drive it yourself and visit it or hire someone to go take pictures on Craigslist for 50 bucks or 25 bucks or however much you can find someone to go and take a picture of it for you just to triple check that it's the property you want. Um, yeah, so we'll keep scrolling down here. So this is the bid amount. You'll see here this auto bid. Basically, this is what I was saying a little bit before where you can put in like, for instance, 27, just say my max bid is 30,000. So I'll put on, I could put in 30,000 and what'll happen is if someone bids, let's say the starting bids 27,9, if someone bids 28,900, it'll automatically bid up from that until I reach my maximum bid. And then if someone bids over that, then it won't bid for me anymore. So that's how that works. It's a neat little thing that helps you. You just, so you don't always have to be monitoring it. You can just put in your max bid and forget about it. So, Boom, here we are with this item specifics. Uh, you can scroll down here and you can see some of the other uh, important details. But what we have here is the APN. So this is the parcel 
information. We have the legal description here. We have the address, which says NA Grass Valley, California. Uh, shows you how big it is, the acreages, the parcel map, and the GIS, which is another map. And I'm going to walk you through that right now. Um, I'd like to point out, too, that the improvement bonds here, there's no improvement bonds, and there's no IRS liens, but there are state liens. So that would definitely be something to look into as well before you end up purchasing it. But it's outside the scope of this quick tutorial here. So parcel map. So I'm going to click this. Boom. Uh, if you clicked it, this is where it would take you. So this is the parcel map of the area that we just that I just showed you in Nevada County. So because there's no address to this, it makes it a little tricky because we can't exactly see where it is. So I'm going to walk you through how I found out where this property was really quick. And it's a little ninja and a little complicated. Normally, if there's an address to the property, you'll be able to see it. And you'll be able to put it in Google Maps or... Google Earth and it will bring it up. But for this, it didn't bring it up because there was no address. So I had to do a little fan dangling, if you will, to find it. So what I initially did is I put it in my maps program. I uh, basically took uh, this area code here, Grass Valley, California, and I went into my maps, my uh, Apple Maps, and I pasted it in. And then you can see it was right there. So this is Grass Valley, California. Now, it's a long shot, yes. So what I did was I, um, I came over here to this to this parcel map again. Let me. I wonder if I can zoom in. Oh, there we go. So I noticed that this road here is called Rattlesnake Road. You see that? Boom, Rattlesnake Road. So what I then did was I came over here and I typed in Rattlesnake Road, Grass Valley. And still, oh, there it is. Um, still, that wasn't very specific. Um, so I'll skip ahead to what I what I did was I um, this rattlesnake ridge right here. So this is something that's really close to this. So I typed in basically what I did is I typed in rattlesnake ridge, uh, rattles rattlesnake ridge. Give it a second, it's going to space. So this is Rattlesnake Ridge. Now, if you notice, there's like this little U here, with this little bloop right here. This uh, and it kind of goes down here to Silver Pick Court. So what I came over here and I said, and I, I saw this, I was like, oh, this is the U right here, and this is Silver Pick Court. So this is the street that we're on. So we're getting close. So this is the street. So we're actually, we're in, this is the parcel of land that uh, this is in this Nevada County that's up for bid for 27,990 and it looks like there's these two big giant parcels of land right here. Now if you look here next to it there's a parcel 40 and parcel 44. So if I look to where this U is and forgive me if this is getting complicated you can watch this a couple times to kind of get a feel for it but basically this is the U and there's two parcels of land next to it and then there's two big parcels of land which is the ones that we're bidding on on this. So right here basically is essentially where it is. So you'll see here's the U, now there's two parcels here, and then there will be two big pieces of land here, which is where the property is that we're bidding on. So there's this U shape here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm on Apple Maps right now, but, I, but you can do this on Google Maps too, is I'm gonna drop a pin right here, because I know this is the U shape, and I know it's somewhere around here. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna pull up an address, 1426 Rattlesnake Ridge. And I'm actually going to copy that address, or sorry, yeah, copy that address, because this is this is going to get me in the in the right direction, in the right sort of area where I where I want to look. And I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to click on this GIS. I believe that stands for Global Imagery Satellite. That could be completely wrong, but basically, it's like a satellite view of Nevada County in California. And I'm going to put in that address right like that. So I just copy and paste that that address in there, and I'm going to click Search. Now it seems we've not have found it, so I'm going to delete some of the extra things uh, that I don't need. Make sure there's spaces. Still nothing. So I'm going to put in that. See what that brings up. Boom. Okay. So I just I basically just put in the very first part of the address, the 142666 Rattlesnake Ridge Drive. 
So you'll notice that it took me right to where we were looking. Here's that little U shape. There's silver pick court. There's rattlesnake ridge drive. And if you look right here, this big two squares, this looks very familiar to this right there. You see that? One, two, and then those there, there's those two par parcels there. Two parcels there, one, two. So this is actually the piece of land we're bidding on. It's actually two pieces of land that are being auctioned off for the same price. And you can see that right here under item specifics. It says APN 2224138 and 2224139. So we have 38 right here, and we have 39 here. If we come here, we've got, that's not showing that, where is it? There we go, 38 here and 39 there. So those are the two properties we're seeing. So this is, this is exactly where it is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the information that I found. I found this address that was close to it and I've checked the parcel land here. So what I can now do, just, to, just as a double check, because remember, we wanna make sure we, we're, we're looking at the right place, because this is where so many people make a mistake with tax lien investing. Even, even if you're not online, even if you're at an auction, sometimes people buy the wrong property. It happens all the time. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do, oh, I gave away my secret sauce here. I'm gonna go back to the regular view and I, I, I put in this address, the 14266 Rattlesnake Ridge Drive, which is very close to the parcels of lands we're looking for. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click Street View. Now this doesn't work all the time, but when it does, it's pretty cool. So as you can see here, I can look around and see the actual street and, and the images taken from a Google car that drives by on Rattlesnake Ridge. Now these aren't always up to date, so it's, that's why it's always good to have a backup plan and to see different, um, to see, to have different methods of seeing the property. Now if I go this way, I believe we'll see the U, the U in the turn. So this is actually the, this is that U shape thing I was showing you. So uh, I'll go back to this map. So the, this, where Rattlesnake Ridge Drive turns into Rattlesnake Road and into Silver Pick Court, so this U. So that's, you can actually see that right here. Boom, here's the U. So I know I'm in the right spot. So judging by this, the property that I want is basically through behind these guys right here. So it's in behind that, trees, that tree line. Now, for all we know, it could be a lake there, or it could be a, a, a barren wasteland. So relying solely on this is not a good option. Uh, that is where having someone to go out and actually take a look at the property and having a GPS would be very, very, very helpful to know what you're looking for because it's because it's 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 beyond this right here. So what what you're seeing is these houses right here and it's this huge acreage behind that. So to know what you're getting is is kind of a mystery, but this is just an example for instance. If this is too complicated, don't 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 go there. If it's if it's not if it doesn't have an address, if it's not a house, stay away from it. I'm not trying to tell you that this is a great idea. I'm not a I'm not a professional financial advisor to say, hey, in 20 years, this will be worth a million dollars. No, I'm just saying this is how it's done. So that's how you would basically see the property on, on Google Earth, and you can go here into Google Maps Street View and see what's all around the area. This looks like a pretty sweet neighborhood, so if that was a piece of land that you could build on and there was no restrictions, that might be worth a pretty penny, especially in uh, California. So that's basically the research you can do from home. I'll come back here to the specifics. Um, here it says two, P, two APNs making up one legal parcel, land only, sold together. So you are getting both the parcels of land. And you can read more on the website here about uh, basically how it all works. One thing I will say is you notice here that there's no um, assessed value on it. So that's something that I would be curious about and I would f figure out why. Why is there no assessed value on it? Um, there's definitely the minimum bid, which we see is 27900 and there's the, dep the deposit. But we can't really see, I haven't seen anywhere where it says how much the land is worth. Now it is 20, almost 20 acres of land. So that's curious. That's a lot of land for $30,000, I think. I'm no land expert, but it seems like a pretty big parcel of land. So definitely something that would pique my interest if I was big into land. Uh, but yeah, besides that, that's basically how each one of these works. Um, if you know your auction ID, I will say this quickly, you can copy it and you can come over here to a place where you can search uh, by keywords or you can search by, uh, by auction ID and you can paste it, in, paste it in here like this and then click search and it will pull up the specific auction ID that we just saw here. 
So let's hop back to the presentation and I'll round this out. This has been a long video, so I appreciate you sticking with me here. Uh, let's go here. So here's an important thing to remember. You really need to do really, really, really good due diligence when it comes to online investing, especially with tax liens, and especially when you don't have an option to go see the property. Uh, it's, you, you basically need to hire someone and pay them 50 bucks to 100 bucks to go take really good pictures of someone you trust. Now you can build that relationship with someone over Craigslist. So maybe that means picking a state that you're just really, really, really uh, excited to work in and then creating kind of a team of uh, photographers on the ground. You don't have to pay them a lot. You can find a college kid and be like, hey, if you give me, I'll, I'll give you 25 bucks or I'll give you 50 bucks before. And then once you deliver me the pictures and I see them and see that they're good, I'll give you 50 bucks afterwards and maybe 100 bucks for them. Or maybe 25 and 25, whatever your budget is. But uh, if I, like when I was a kid, I would have done that. No sweat. I would have taken great pictures of that. Uh, you have to be certain about what you're buying. That, that's, that comes down. That's, that's obvious. And it's best to start in your own county, your own state, so you can visit the properties, so you can get a feel for this, so you know going into this that this is what, uh, this is how it works, and this is basically, you're not going to mess up anything. So it's important that you do that. I would recommend that you go get a feel for a real auction first if there's one happening close by, and definitely start buying small. Don't buy a $40,000 lien on your first lien. Maybe find a lien that's 500 bucks. Buy that. If you're out 500 bucks because you messed up, that's, it sucks, but it's not the end of the world. If you're out 40 grand, that's different. And do always check and make sure of the fees that are associated with these online bidding sites. Sometimes they have ridiculously high fees, like $500 which is okay if you're buying a $10,000 lien or, a, or like even like a $2,000 lien that's worth $30,000. That's okay because you have the profit margin there to withstand that $500. But if you buy a $200 lien and it's worth $1,000 and there's a $500 charge for the online service, then you're cutting it pretty close and you're going to dig into your profits. Now, chances are you're going to make some mistakes with this, but that's okay. Um, just chalk it up to learning. You spend, we spend four to eight years in university learning and we make tons of mistakes. So don't be hard on yourself if you mess this up. Just make sure you learn from your mistake. That is the most important thing. And like I said, I'm no financial planner or lawyer. So please make sure you do proper research and take everything I say at face value. I'm showing you how to do it. I'm definitely not showing you what's the best for your financial goals. That is something that you'll need to figure out and plot out yourself but it is doable, so I encourage you to do that. So, another remember, another reminder, take your time with this stuff, start small, work your way up to big deals, always, always, always double and triple check properties and where they are, their addresses. We have, we were, our students were at a tax sale in December and a guy bought a slab of concrete for $70,000. He thought there was a house on it because he had someone go and take pictures of it, but they went to the wrong place apparently. And he was certain there was a house, but there wasn't. Our people checked. So please, 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 please look at properties and double check them, triple check them. If you have any questions or you get confused, which is normal, the people that built these websites definitely weren't building them for ease of use. Send the people that bid for assets an email or the county an email. They will get back to you. It may take some nudging to get the response, but if you want the property, do whatever it takes. Get it. They can help you. Um, and again, this may not be the best place for you to start with tax liens and deeds, but if it's something you're interested in, I encourage you to go at it strong, go at it hard and master it because it's, it's definitely a viable investing option, especially if you have money that you want to invest and get great returns on tax liens are where it's at. So with that being said, this has been a much longer presentation than I expected, but I appreciate those of you who stuck around. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions uh, at all regarding tax liens or deeds, or how they can be profitable for you and your business or you and your personal financialness, please email us at hello at taxleancertificateschool.com and we'll definitely point you in the right direction, whether it's just a quick chat or whether you want to invest in some of our programs. We do teach the stuff on a deeper level. So with that being said, thanks for watching, guys and gals. I hope you have a great weekend or week or whatever is in front of you for the next few days, and I'll talk to you in the next video.